Do your kids have exposure to culture and art? I'm a huge believer that art is our gateway to imagination. And it's very important to expose our kids to art since young age and since early on. First off, this is a part of our time span as a family and you as a parent, as a human probably want to go and see some cool things. But many people believe that when they have little children, toddlers in particular, that it's not really doable because um, they're not gonna have fun and they build their routines around their kids. But this is not necessarily the case. And uh, here is how you can make it fun for everyone. One of the things that definitely makes it so much more fun for uh, in particular preschoolers and kindergartners is doing quests for them and you don't have to uh, prepare for it and have things ready in advance like we walked into this cool place today right and i saw a picture of dragon in one spot or a unicorn in another hall right and i just asked them hey can you spot a unicorn or i wonder can you find a blue dragon and like the whole experience becomes about that are you appreciating the art, Maeve? Like this cool dragon from Spain from 1200 from the Benediction Monastery. Maybe you're learning to read already. Does this look very cool? Is that, who is this? Is this a donkey? You can also play a guessing game where, hey, let's wonder together what was this statue, what was this person famous for? And you can make your guesses and then you find out what, what, what it was. What's his name? Saint Roche. Oh. I think he's a pirate. You think he's a pirate? Yeah. Looks like he was curing victims of plague. And now that gives us an option to talk about plague in the medieval Europe and what it was and how people were cured and this is how we learn to wash our hands for example and the importance of washing our hands to not spread the microbes. You can also give them a camera or a phone and let them take pictures of things that are most exciting for them or make them curious and then later talk about what they were and uh, what made them curious about them. Another great way to um, make things fun um, and also turn on their thinking is to ask them questions about um, things that they're seeing and things around them, like this. Why, why, why do you so think narrow? those windows used to be made so narrow? Like so why did they make them so narrow here? I do not know. Who wants your guess? Maybe they want rain to come through. They didn't want rain to come through. Oh, that's a good idea. And especially if you have younger kids, you have toddlers, you can um, let them um, look around them and ask questions like, what do you think is made out of squares or uh, spot around shape and things like that. And for even younger, younger little ones like for Maeve, I was just um, letting her touch textures around her. And this is wonderful for language development. For example, you can name that now, uh, this is smooth or um, things like that. I know, this is time maybe. You wanna try this? This is time, we can try it, that's okay. It's yummy. Mm. Mama likes to make chicken with it. I would say not on the floor, maybe. Nope. Hey, Malia. Malia, look, I know, secret passageways are so cool. Remember, I told you they existed in monasteries and medieval castles. Hey, Malia, what is made out of squares around us? The floor? Mm, yeah, I know, I thought so too. What about rectangles? Can you find any rectangles? The roof? Oh, you're right! Wow, I didn't even see that! It, that, it is made kind of out of rectangles.
And one last thing is um, looking into things and preparing for things on your way to a, a museum or to a cultural event, for example, right? Like if you're going to um, an exhibit from um, Picasso or some abstract painter, as you can tell them a story like, for example, Picasso's first word was actually a crayon or on our way today to the cloisters by the Met. We told our kids, formerly in particular, about um, the uh, different types of play medieval kids used to do and different types of games they were exposed to because um, this place is dedicated to the medieval towns in Europe. And uh, this was a lot of fun for her. So just some basic interesting things and uh, kids can get very excited. So we just found out that Europeans used rosemary to drive away evil spirits. Pretty cool. The one last recommendation I have for you if you're bringing your kids to a museum or cultural experience is limiting the exposure. You don't have to do the whole Met or the whole museum uh, at once because attention spans are obviously drastically different and um, what matters is for them to have fun and for them to have like this um, memory of something interesting, you know, like this dopamine release where um, they did a quest and they remember finding something or they learned something really cool and something interesting and it wasn't um, a long drag because in the long term we want them to understand that this is fun and build the circuitry that culture and art is fun not boring drag. <laughs>